for the first time, we were gonna go check out this casino here in uh, Philly, Philly Rivers, Rivers Philly, Philly Live. No, those are different. Tried to play online today and stream and uh, yeah, it wasn't working. So we're gonna try to make the most of the day and go check out uh, the casino here. It's not too far away. It's like 1.5 miles. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll keep you posted. So there are three limps in this hand, and then it gets to me on the button, and I make it 15 bucks with ace-queen offsuit. There's one call in early position, and then the flop comes ace, nine, four, two spades, two spades. Uh, the player in the hand that calls checks, I bet 10 bucks on this flop. He makes it 20. I'm like, this is weird, um, but I call. And then the turn comes a five. So uh, we are heads up now to the turn and they bet small here, really small. They bet 20 bucks. And this was a newerish player to the table that seemed like he was mostly focused on having fun. So I was like thinking that this bet might just be a one of two things like a block bet with a weak hand or I've started to notice that some live players are doing this small bet to actually not lose you and it's like a value bet with a pretty big hand. So I just decided to call here and then the river comes a queen of spades. So there are now three spades on the board, ace, nine, four, five, queen. Uh, then this time out of position, villain checks, considering the assumptions that I made on the turn, it feels like they are going to be check calling a lot of things here and they don't want to bet into the flush on the river. So they decide to check and they're like, I'm going to call anything. I probably could have gone bigger, but I felt like I was maybe going to lose them. But we ended up betting 102 bucks and they didn't take too long before calling and showing ace nine off. So they had flop two pair and it was the second of what I thought it could have been on the turn. And they didn't want to lose me with a very strong two pair. But then when the spade comes in on the river, you know, they got a check call. So uh, we end up winning this hand and this was a nice pot. I make it 10 in late position with king 10 suited. King 10 of spades. Um, and then the small blind three bets me to 38. And we are now going to the flop heads up as I did call a 38 in position here, fairly deep stacked. And then on the flop, it goes king three, eight with two spades. And then this player just jams all in for the last 122. And I take second here and I think, and it's like, I have not seen people do this with like over pairs, sets, good top pairs. Like there is a flush draw out there, but there's not really a straight draw. So it feels like an overplay to me. Maybe even like ace queen, maybe a flush draw as well that they flopped. But I decided that there was still a possibility that they could have jacks, tens and nines, something like that, or the ace queen of spades. So considering there were shorter stacks as well, I just like decide I get a call. And uh, to our liking, 
the player flips over jacks, seven on the turn, and then jack on the river. I was like, wow. Oh, it was such a, oh man, it, I felt this one. All right, and then we actually do have video for this hand here. We look down at nine, seven of hearts. We have a raise it up to 10 bucks here. And we get called a couple of ways. So we are going to the flop three-handed here. It does check to me. I have some backdoor draws. I decided to continuation bet for 10. And then uh, both of the players fold. So pick up a nice little pot there. And then here is a spot where I actually didn't have the camera on running quite at the time of the start of this hand, but I got it going. And as you can see here, we have a uh, limp for five in the late position here. This is the hijack and then the cutoff makes it 12 over their limp. And then I decided to make it 50 over the uh, iso of the limp on the button here and sadly the first player folds and the second player folds pretty quickly and it was still early we were being friendly here we decided to show the kings <laughs> and then here's a hand where we have king three clubs in the big blind there is a raise and three callers, including myself in the big blind here. So we go four to the flop for 10 bucks. The flop comes 10 deuce four with one club. It ends up checking around. And then on the turn, the six of clubs here, I decided with a gut shot and a club draw that I was going to lead out here. So I led for 35. The player next to me decides to call and we end up going heads up to the river, which is a nine X. And then at this point, I'm just like, okay, they just called me here. And this is a spot where I think I need to continue bluffing. I don't think they're going to be that strong. I did just show the King's hand a little bit ago. No reason for them to think I'm getting out of line. And uh, yeah, I think I have to get a one pair hand to fold here. So I decide to bet the river for 50 bucks. And I was actually torn between going a little bit bigger here or making it look like I wanted to get a call. So I, I sized this to make it look like I wanted to get a call. It did work and this player ended up folding and showing me a nine. So they had a, a had queen a nine of clubs. So they ended up picking up a flush draw as well, hit a yeah. pair on the river, <laughs> but then ended up folding to my continued aggression. So that was yeah. nice. First trip here, river, I guess it's pretty good. We're uh, up and down in the cash game. Um, started with 500 and we went down to like 250, up to like 400, down to 350 up to 550 and i think uh right before i left we were sitting on about uh, 480 bucks so right around break even so we're in earlier position here with ace four of diamonds we decide to raise it up to 15 bucks We get one caller in the big blind, so we go heads up to a flop here. And I don't really flop much here, I just flop some backdoor draws, but they do check to me. So I throw out a small bet here, fully planning on betting any turns that improve my hand. They call pretty quickly, and then we go to the turn. And this player decides to lead into me, and it has not helped me at all this turn. I just have ace high. So I just decided to uh, give it up and uh, move on to the next one. All right, so the next hand that we have here, 
Uh, we did miss the video, but it was a notable hand. So we raised 10 eight of hearts in early position to 10 bucks. The button makes it 35 and I call and we go heads up to the flop. The flop comes Jack queen five with three hearts. So we have flopped the flush. This is a good feeling. And I decided to start off with a check, of course. Uh, they also check, and the turn is a seven. So at this point, we have about 80 bucks in the pot. I decided to bet 50 bucks. This player calls, and the river is another jack. Now, I decided at this point that I wanted to look a little more bluffy here. I thought it was cool that the flush did not complete on the river. So we decided to bet 125 here into the pot. The pot at this point was actually about 170. And the uh, player in this hand called pretty quickly and table dace jack, definitely thinking that their trip jacks were good. But uh, I turned the flush and yeah, that's good. So we move on to the next one. Alrighty, so we are in plus one versus a limp. We make it 15 with King Jack off. We end up getting four callers and the flop comes ace, jack, seven, rainbow. The big blind in this hand here leads out for 15. Early position calls. Next, it's on me, and I decide to. I gotta. I, I gotta see one more, man. I gotta see one more. So we end up going three to the turn. Turn is a king, so this is great for us. We have now turned two pair. No one uh, three bet preflop, so I'm not assuming anybody has ace king, although they definitely still can. It checks to me this time on the turn, and I bet 60 bucks into this pot. I think I probably could have gone bigger, honestly, but uh, this is what we chose in this instance. Both of these players call, so I'm pretty excited at this point and just hoping for a brick river. The river does indeed brick out here. And then it checks to me, and I bet very, very baggy on this river at this point, thinking I'm pretty far ahead. I bet 80 bucks into this pot. And uh, they both sadly fold, and we would eventually uh, bleed down a little bit. But we would still end up finding a profit this evening, which is always nice. A lot of action, some fun hands. It was a nice first trip here to Rivers Casino. Friendly dealers. The games were fun. The games were juicy. Thank you. All right. All right, so uh, it was like a five hour grind or so, something like that. Kind of swingy for me, a little up and down, uh, but we did end up booking a $90 profit, which is nice. And Poker Pro over here ended up booking a much bigger profit than me, which actually kind of excites me a bit, but a little bit tired. It's like 1 a.m. in the morning and it was a really long day. I actually tried to stream this morning and uh, it didn't go well, but uh, this went well. It was nice. Got some uh, good food earlier, which you probably already seen by now, but uh, say goodbye. Our first trip to Rivers Casino. Hey everybody, thanks for making it to the end of my video. No one does that, do they? All right, look, I respond to comments, so please leave a comment below the description and let me know what you think, and let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, check out some of my last videos here, and 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button here. All right, my name is Drew. Peace out. Catch up with you later.